I'm the uh, director of the uh, Spiritual Direction Formation Program uh, on this campus. Uh, as Jonathan said before, it's uh, a non-tertiary course that we run here and we have been running here for, for several years now, uh, forming people to become spiritual directors. It's, a, it's run under the umbrella of the Anglican Church, but we have many people from many different faith traditions joining our program. And I see Rainey is one of our students who are sitting here. Um, what, what I've called my little talk is listening to the heartbeat of God. So in spiritual direction, we move from the, uh, from the head to the heart and listen in a direction program to the heartbeat of God. So God lives within and it, within the spiritual direction interview or session, we're listening at a deeper level to what's happening in you with your relationship with God. So hence we've, I've called it listening to the heartbeat of God, and um, I'll just make that a bit bigger, so we can see the icon. Uh, and looking at the icon here of St John with his head resting on the heart of Jesus and listening to the heartbeat of Jesus, and that's what we attempt to do in spiritual direction. So listen to what's been going on in you with your relationship with God. What's happening at heart level? So just to start it off, I'd like to sort of get us down. We've had a great lecture from Peter. And just get us down, just settle down a little bit. And I'm going to play, I think I just need to make sure I shared sound. I did. I'm just going to play this song, which is called Listen, Listen, Listen. It's a chant. And it will take you down. It's six minutes. I won't, take, I won't play for six minutes. But it will take you away from the head and settle you down to be listening what's happening down here. So I'll just play this, hopefully you can hear it. <laughs> I'll just stop that now. And I'll just ask you to just notice what's happening in you now at heart level at this level, not up here. What's happening in you now? How, how do you feel after listening to that? Listen, listen, listen. What are you noticing? Yeah? I can't hear you. I started noticing how my heart feels really new. And it's, and it's a reflection on very recent events. Like, um, but, but events that shed light on history as well. So, so there's a sort of a recent wound there and that, that came fully into my mind. Mm -hmm. So you started noticing something that was happening at heart level and that there's a wound there. Yeah. And so that would be something you could take to spiritual direction and talk to your director about. But <coughs> as you're listening to the song, this happened. This is about relationship, wounded mm -hmm. at heart level. Anyone else? I find the music so took me back to the strong faith building experience that I had. Um, not difficult to put into, not easy to put into words. Intimacy. Yes, mm. with God. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. 
music sort of takes me there, but I can't really articulate it in words so much, but the music yeah. takes mm -hmm. me there. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So the music took you back and you remembered yeah. an experience of God or consolation, which was to you an intimate experience. And again, that's that's the grist of the meal, the spirit direction, you take that to the director and talk about it. So we find more of the presence of God um, within the experience. And similarly, I could have asked you, well, how, how are you feeling as you listened to what Peter was saying about the burning bush and the ecological and the spiritual? What was happening in you as you listened to that? Because this is a spiritual question. And it's about relationship with God. God has made everything and is in all things. And if you were listening to what's happening in you about that, again, you could take that to spiritual direction. So, spiritual direction then, I'll just, it's a bit bigger. Spiritual direction is a conversation of the heart. And that was why I played the music, listen, listen, listen to my heart. Song, I think, the words are in that. Listen, listen, listen to my heart song. And it's not easy to listen. You need silence. You need to settle down. You need to bypass the head and listen to what's happening in here. So, spiritual direction then is a conversation of the heart. It's not about ideas. It's a conversation of the heart. And that little experience with the, with the music was an example of how we get to what's happening at heart level and then to have a conversation about it what's happening with you and God around the wound around the intimacy how is God in that and how is God speaking to you it's the help given by one Christian to another so in a spiritual direction session we have a director and a directee so it's the help given by one Christian to another, the director, to help you, which enables that person to pay attention to God's personal communication. Pay attention. And what I did in that little experience with the music was I asked you to pay attention to what's happening in you at this level. And the director helps you by the questionings um, to pay attention to that. And then to respond to that personal communication between you and God. Respond. So it's, um, it's a relationship. Two people in relationship listen to each other and talk to each other and then respond. So, so the spiritual direction helps you pay attention and then respond to that personal communication, in other words, grow in intimacy. You get to know each other. This God that that is in you and is speaking <coughs> to you, you get to know each other better by listening within a spiritual direction um, session. And to grow in intimacy that's what we want to do. We want to grow in intimacy with this God who created us. Before you were born, I knew you. I knitted you together in your mother's womb. 
this God who created us wants to grow in intimacy with us. And deep down within us, we want to know our God as well. We want to grow in intimacy. And spiritual direction is one way of facilitating that growth in intimacy. Obviously, we've got to have your own prayer life and individual and communal life. And spiritual direction is one of those other things that will help you grow in intimacy with God. And then live out the consequences of those relationships so that God is love. And living out that consequence of that intimacy that you've tipped into through what you brought to spiritual direction helps you grow in faith, hope and compassion. Three theological virtues. Faith, you grow in faith. You grow in hope. And you grow in compassion. So, I think that's enough to give you a, a little introduction to what spiritual direction is about. I've put some brochures outside. Um, for you to pick up and have a look if you're interested in either spiritual direction. There's a list of spiritual directors out there. Um, we are also looking for volunteer pe people to volunteer to become directees for our students in training. So that would give you an opportunity to experience what spiritual direction is like. So thank you.